Good morning guys. So today it is the day of my brow launch with Isla. Well it's not launching today but I have the press day. So basically I have to go and talk about um, the brow products all day and my alarm went off. Well my alarm was actually set. It was meant to be set for 6.30 and I set it for 7.30 by accident. What an idiot. Luckily it went, I woke up naturally at 7 so um, I've been in a little bit of a hurry but not like Oh God, I really messed up. Um, so I've got really, really messy flat, but I'm ready to go. I'm wearing my needle and thread pinafore dress with a white shirt underneath it, which looks a little like this. I also have my tights on, which I'm aware I don't really go, and I'm gonna take them off for this evening, but it's too cold not to wear them. I've gotta go, otherwise I'm gonna be really late. I'm also really hungry, but luckily the first thing is breakfast, so let's do this. So I've just arrived in the beautiful Langham. How gorgeous is this room for the Isla press breakfast? So this is where we're gonna be sitting. My seat is here. I've already got my bag on my seat because couldn't be bothered to carry it around. Exciting. So, so pretty in here. Basically this morning is Isla's whole like press breakfast for um, this kind of season. So they are showing press all of their new styles from their range, but also my brow products. So. I'm excited. I'm also really hungry. The food is looking amazing. Look at these muffins. Hello. And the fruit salad is also looking insane. Can I just sit here all day and eat, please? That would be very nice. So I've just come out of the press breakfast. It was really good, actually. I really enjoyed it and had some very delicious breakfast at the Langham. Very fancy. And I'm now popping down the road to Topshop because I have about 45 minutes before I'm meeting my friend Lauren for lunch. Um, and then a bit of space this afternoon before heading to the blogger dinner tonight. So I'm gonna go and see what I can find in toppers. So frustrating guys, I love these trousers, but they don't have my size. <laughs> yeah. As per usual in Topshop, I've ended up in the changing room with way too much stuff. Let's get trying. So first up is this shirt. I actually really, really like this. Pretty cool, kind of folky. And then a denim skirt, which I really need a new plain denim skirt because I don't have one. But just the tip with Topshop denim skirts, I always go up a size because they usually fit really high waisted and really short, and I like to pull them down a bit like that. So they look like that. I like this outfit. Then this is the other denim skirt I got to try on. So this is like a more distressed version. I don't know which one I like better. What do you guys think? But I've also just tried on this little dungaree dress, which I kind of like. I feel like it's missing some detail on the front, like it's quite straight up and down. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't think it's very me, and I feel like it might be a bit unflattering if you like go like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's quite comfy, to be fair. I've wanted to try on some of these jeans for ages, these like tassely bottomed ones. And I really like the bottom half, but I don't know if like this kind of slightly mum style is the most flattering, I don't know. When you're short, I think it makes you look shorter. What do you guys think? Not sure about these, but I love this top, I've decided. So these are the trousers where they didn't have my size. These are a size up, but they're tie-waisted, so I've managed to like pull them in. I mean, this, this situation is not happening right now, but it's just annoying because they're meant to be cropped and I'm really short, so they end up being like ankle flapping. Last but not least, again, they didn't have my size in this, so this is a size up, but it's tie waist, so you just cinch it in. I feel like it might be a little bit free free. I feel like this is just a little bit long. You know what I mean? I don't know, cute, but... I feel like it's difficult for me to wear stuff that goes across like this, because I'm, again, quite short. It kind of makes you look a little bit wider. Cute, but nah. So, I think I'm gonna go for the ripped skirt, so like that, and then this shirt which I love which I'm super happy that I found these because if you guys saw my ASOS haul the other day you'll know it was a total fail. Yay! So I just got back to the flat and I am wanting to chill out and not do anything and basically have a nap but my flat is so messy right now and if you can see the pile of stuff on the floor there through there is just like a bomb's dropped so it's tidying time no sleep for me no snoozing Damn it. Tidy flat. Mission accomplished, with the exception of the bin bags and my luggage, which obviously 
I can't really tidy up. I am now going to go and get a coffee because I have about an hour before my car picks me up to take me to the event tonight and I'm feeling a bit snoozy. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and get some caffeine in my veins. Just arrived at the Sanderson for the vlogger dinner. Look at the beautiful setting for dinner, guys. I'm so excited. How awesome is it in here? There's all these amazing grapes as well and everyone is just starting to arrive. So we've just been trying to take a little photo with me and Susie and Danielle. We're nicely arranged in high order. <laughs> Suze, the little Suze, I've got heels on. Normally we're the same height. I feel like we are fellow small people we together, are. but... <laughs> and then Danielle is just towering but over I do have all. heels on, so... <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Usually I'm like here. There we go. With yeah, that's heels. way better. We're having a lovely dinner. I'm sat next to this beautiful one. Yeah. I haven't really seen in such a long time and we're having a good old chin wag and then on the other side I've got Suze who is currently looking for photos of Nala we're sharing dog photos and Josie we're all like oh, I don't have any children to show photos of we've got we've got baby photos from this one we've got dog photos from this one it's just all round cuteness and we're having a lovely time chowing down <laughs> all the dogs and then everyone is sitting here and it's just really lovely it's basically like a wedding in here guys I just had to make a speech guys and it was really awkward but I did it did you like it? it was basically like thanks for coming <laughs> jokes it was good but now we are about to have dessert and it is chocolate fondant look at this guys oh chocolate fondant and ice cream just got back to the flat I had such an amazing night guys it was actually really nice because a lot of the girls I hadn't seen in a while it's so nice to get everybody together Sammy especially who I was sitting next to who I haven't seen because obviously she's, she's just had little baby Indy oh so cute <laughs> um and I hadn't properly caught up with her in such a long time so it was so nice to see her and Susie and Josie and just everybody there it was oh it was so great I had such a good time um, and I thought <laughs> I would show you guys. I came away with three goodie bags because they had two spare at the end. I was like, I'll take the extras because you know what? I want to do a giveaway in this video, um, giving away some of the brow products. Also, um, I came away with this amazing skinny Prosecco and a gift from my friend Jordan. If you guys don't follow Jordan already or know who Jordan is, Jordan Bone on YouTube, you need to go and check her out because she's such, she's like honestly one of my favourite people I've met through YouTube, she's such a sweetheart and her and her fiancé Mike were there tonight and it was just so nice to see them and look at this, she bought me some Prosecco and I haven't actually looked in here yet but I'm pretty sure it's chocolate, oh my god, she got chocolate with the hashtag on it. She's just like one of the nicest, most thoughtful, sweet people ever. So yeah, that like, oh my God, that so makes my night. But I also want to do a giveaway um, to one of you guys with booty bags. So I have like a lot of makeup on the bed. Let's just ignore that. Um, so this is what you guys can win. This is the goodie bag. This is a ribbon. It has like Fleur de Force Isla ribbon on it. Um, and inside is basically all of the products from the range so you have if you guys haven't seen my main channel video already and you know which ones they are you have the brow tamer in light medium and dark and then and these are double ended so there's the clear on one end and then the tinted on the other and then you have the brow palettes in light medium and dark so you have that's the medium, that's the light, and that's the dark. So you have all six products, and there's also a brush in there. So um, this is to use with the palette. So this is the Isla um, Brow Duo brush. So it's like a brush and a spoolie. So if you guys want to win this, it's basically like my whole brow collection, head over to my Twitter and write me a comment about what's your favorite thing to do with your brows like what's the best discovery you've discovered about doing your brows like is it getting them threaded or is it using a brow gel or like what's your like or like a top tip or something to do with brows basically like a favorite product or um the best discovery that you've made for brows whether it's like getting hd brows done or whatever so head over to my twitter and at flood force and tell me that and use the hashtag brow de force 
um, and let me know. And I'm going to choose one person to win. Actually, I'm going to choose two people to win because I have two spare goodie bags. So, yeah, two people are going to win and it's going to be open for a week. And I will let you know on Twitter who wins. Oh my god, washing your face after a long day, wearing loads of makeup, is like the best feeling ever in the world. Fact. I totally did not finish my vlog last night, so I'm going to call it a morning slash evening, because it's not really evening, here. And I will see you guys in the morning. I'm going home. Bye!